Hello and welcome into the fallow grind on Emerald Coast. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and give you guys some quick tips to get started when you get there. Uh, I've already spent quite a bit of time on the map and heard managed a decent amount. So we're currently up to 19 diamonds and we have 1,645 kills into this grind. Um, the main thing you look for are the level 4 82 to 100 kilograms. They can also hit this max weight estimate as a level 3. But what you want to do is get out there, find your zones, and set up to get the grind started. Looks like we got two there. These zones haven't been too terrible. They've actually been pretty wide open and looking really good to shoot at. So currently, I think I'm right around 45 zones, something like that total. I do have a map that I can put up here for you guys so you can take a look where I have found all my zones. This is a map of where I've actually found the zones including solos so so a lot of the solos are now missing off of the zones because i shot them obviously you get those big max weight bucks you gotta shoot them and get them spawning into your main zones i do actually treat the grind very very similar to the red deer and the moose grinds where i do hunt my herd zones and then i end up hunting my solos separately so with that i will sit there and i will grind on my herd zones until i get some level five stacked up into them where i have enough overhead pressure in order to shoot down my solo zones now i do herd management and uh, i take it to the extreme obviously i stack up quite a few diamonds before i shoot down you don't have to do that but if you are not going to be herd managing you're just going to want to make sure that you get out there and you find your big level fours and threes and focus on those i mean mostly if you're out there shooting a lot of the little guys it's really not going to help you too much uh overall you're going to be kind of fighting against yourself these fallow do look amazing though man look at these this white fur type so you're going to see this quite a bit this is actually a new common fur type for them it seems common to me i mean i have quite a few i have three diamonds of them so far just beautiful they did a great job on these overall now this is a pretty large map and the fallow from what i've seen so far can go pretty much anywhere on it the only place that i have not found fallow yet at all has been on the coast itself let's go ahead and take a look at the map real quick we are going to see basically where all my setups are currently they are on these lakes here um, i have them specifically set up uh, because they're nice wide open easy to shoot into zones and also make for good collection now a few things about the fallow when you start grinding your solos and you start shooting into those what i've noticed so far is that they tend to respawn in pretty consistent locations so this left side river right here from i would say this outpost here down to about this crossing right here so this section of the river right here is actually absorbed a lot of solo respawns as well as this small lake right here in the middle of the map this one right here seems to stack them up as well and one other location that i've seen where solos tend to respawn quite a bit is here you can see there are currently no drink zones but it's because i made it a point to hit this outpost over here and come over and shoot these solos out to get them back into my rotations. I did have a tent set up here for a little while. However, I feel like my grind has progressed to a point where it's pretty good. It's pretty set up and I haven't actually had any respawns moving out of my main shooting zones. So respawns have been great. A couple things when you're finding zones is crocodiles. So fallow do share zones in areas with crocodiles however i actually don't have too many there are a couple right along here and what you can see is actually so the crocodiles in general they're not all over the map i've basically only seen them from the bottom of the coast to the top all through here you can actually take a look and see uh, there are tons and tons of saltwater crocodile zones coming all the way back here where they're resting uh, same thing with over here you can see they're right here concentrated in this area and then again right over here uh, and then again all you know all along the coast so other than that right there you don't really have to worry about crocodiles much as far as the grind for fallow is concerned now i do also have my zone map i'm gonna go ahead and pull up real quick and let you take a look at that this is everywhere that i have had a zone whether it was a solo a herd whatever the zone happened to be as long as it was fallow 
I marked it. A lot of these zones aren't on here anymore, again, because they were solos. I shot them, the zone disappeared. However, as I was going and making this guide, I marked every location so you guys know where to look. All right, here's some quick tips for getting away from aggressive crocodiles when you're out here looking for fallow zones. Uh, this guy is, there's a six and a seven here, both aggressive. You guys, this is actually a lot of fun, by the way. Uh, getting out here and and going through this these crocodiles are amazing in here and uh, But if you're just trying to get away from them, you can actually move around through these mangrove trees They kind of get hung up a little bit, but they are definitely still quick um, But drop a tripod and get up into it and They will lose aggro and then go into the flea uh, And they will just flee right back into the water Okay, so that is your first tip for surviving crocodiles while finding fallow zones as you can see, the fellow do go alert, alarmed, and into the flea state from the crocodile. So there is a crocodile in the area over here somewhere. We're gonna go up here and take a look. Looks like here is the one who was spooking them. It is an aggressive level four. All right, so another way that you can get away from these guys or get them to de-aggro is actually by shooting your gun. So you see, is that, he's aggro, you shoot that gun without shooting them and they will also run away, all right? The gunshot does spook the crocodiles. That's the two best ways that I have found to get away from crocodiles, actually. So while you're finding a fallow, now the tripod's being the best because if you are out actually looking for fallow zones, you don't want to be shooting the gun and spooking the fallow away before you actually get a chance to spot them and get their zone. So definitely the tripod's the best way to go. For finding your fallow zones, you're going to want to set your time to about 11 o'clock. It seems to work really well. And... Go around to all the locations marked on the map and let me know in the comments if you found other zones after this goes live on the 20th. Definitely share because I would like to update the map and get it going as a better resource for everyone, right? So there we go with two more kills and we're going to go ahead and hop to the other tent on the opposite side. There is a zone underneath where that location is at and so we will fire back across at whatever is in there. It's a really effective way on here if you have not done that before. It's a really effective way for hunting multiple zones that are close. And actually, it looks like they're not in that zone currently. But we will just go ahead and continue on in the rotation and pick up some more kills down the road. I like to just skip past. I don't mess with time change or anything like that. I just keep going in the rotation and then I will come back to this. Again, look at these. Man, look at these fallow. They just look amazing. This is the dark fur type right here. I have quite a few diamonds already. I will go ahead and pop up a couple of photos of that. I have quite a few trophies already. We've gotten, again, 18, 19 diamonds so far. Um, I'll go ahead and pop a couple of the photos up of that so you can take a look at them. I'm going to be streaming this live on Twitch. I'm gonna try and get a great one in early access. We cannot keep them, but I think that just being able to do it in early access is amazing and it's gonna be awesome. I just can't wait to see them in game uh i know on the ew stream it's really awesome but uh i really like to just see them for myself and so we're going to be grinding hard over on twitch at twitch.tv slash i buy premiums i'll put a link in the description and you can come over and drop a follow and hang out for the grind i hope you guys have a lot of luck whenever this drops for you it will definitely be a lot of fun the new update is amazing so far and the follow look just stunning so and thanks for watching i do appreciate it and i will catch you guys on the next one all right take it easy